Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Crimes. I'm your host, Funky, and today we are going to be looking into how a seemingly kind jester leads to the horrific death of Robin Burton Jr. at the hands of Kyle Morgan. Kyle Morgan was a troubled individual from a young age. He suffered a lot with drug addiction and mental health issues in his early teenage years. Morgan's father stated that he started drinking and doing drugs when he was very young and eventually became addicted. He also stated that Morgan suffered from depression and often cut or stabbed himself, and also attempted to kill himself at least eight times since he was 16. Because of this, his parents thought that it was important to have him committed to facilities, either for his drug addiction or for his mental health. Each time, he would get better and become a functioning member of society, but would relapse a couple of weeks or months later. This leads us to January 18th, 2009. Morgan was at a train station when he met a man by the name of Robin Burton Jr., who was homeless at the time. Morgan and Burton struck up a conversation and ended up going to Chicago and Crystal Lake in an attempt to buy drugs. When this failed, Morgan invited Burton over to his apartment with him in the promise of a dry and warm shelter for the night. Things were going good between the pair, with them drinking beer and playing video games. Out of nowhere, Morgan got up, grabbed a hammer, and struck Burton in the head with it. Later on, Burton's body would be discovered by a maintenance worker in Morgan's apartment. Police were called, and they were shocked at the discovery. Upon entering the apartment, they found Burton's lifeless body. He was stabbed around 30 times and had pieces of his flesh cut from his body. There were UNO cards placed on top of his chest with the numbers 666. He also had a skull and crossbone dice placed on his temple. When looking around the apartment, police found the movie Natural Born Killers in the DVD player and the words, It is better to reign in hell than serve in heaven, written on the walls in Burton's blood. The police also found disturbing poetry, writing, and photographs, as well as fan letters written to serial killers Dennis Rader and Richard Ramirez. After this discovery, police started looking for Morgan. After his attack on Burton, Morgan fled to Tennessee. He was caught after a traffic accident had led to a high-speed chase where he hit two pedestrians in the process and wedged his car between a tree and a concrete barrier. After his arrest, investigators found a social media profile where he called himself Thrill Kill Kyle. On his MySpace profile, he stated that he was down with Satan and bragged about punching police officers in the face. He also stated that he enjoyed drinking women's blood. At his trial, it was discovered that Morgan had been prescribed Vyvanse and was taking it at the time of the murder. According to a forensic psychiatrist, Vyvanse is extremely dangerous for those with bipolar disorder. It increases the dopamine levels in the brain and can exasperate psychosis and even cause people with bipolar disorder to become increasingly irritable and prone to violent outbursts. It is believed that this medication was primarily responsible for the attack. Morgan pleaded guilty to first-degree murder and was sentenced to 30 years in prison. The court agreed that he was mentally ill at the time of the murder, but were comfortable with the decision. This is 5-Minute Crimes. Be sure to subscribe to get updated on future videos. I have also created a Discord where I am fairly active on, as well as a Patreon where I post updates for current videos as well as things related to cases that I cannot post on YouTube. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.